Second mega problem is petro-dictatorship. Um, I call this chapter in my book, Fill Her Up With Dictators. And it's about the energy implications of our, our sort of the geopolitical implications of our energy use. The way I like to explain this problem is with a graph I created. I call it the first law of petropolitics. What I did was that thick black line at the bottom, I graphed the average price of OPEC oil from 1979 to 2006. And if you look at it, it looks roughly like that. $80 back in 1979 gets down to $16 in 1995, roughly goes back to $80 in 2005. Then I went to Freedom House, and I got the Freedom House Freedom Index. Freedom House measures freedom. They measure political parties opened and closed, the women's groups opened and closed, newspapers opened and closed, NGOs opened and closed, in countries all over the world. They call it the Freedom Index. And I overlaid the Freedom Index on the price of oil, just to see what it would look like for four petrolist countries, countries totally dependent on oil for their GDP, Russia, Iran, Venezuela, and Nigeria. And darned if it doesn't look like that. What does that tell you? What it tells you is that the, as the price of oil goes down in these countries, the pace of freedom goes up. And as the price of oil goes up, the pace of freedom goes down. I call that the first law of petropolitics. The price of oil and the pace of freedom actually operate in an inverse correlation in petrolist states. Now, actually, you don't need my graph to know this. You can just recall that five years ago, our then President George W. Bush met with Russia's President Vladimir Putin, looked into his soul, and reported back that he saw a good man down there. At the time, oil was $35 a barrel. Uh, if you look into Putin's soul at $135 a barrel, you'll see Gazprom, Lukos, Izvestia, Pravda, the Russian parliament, and lately Georgia, all of which he swallowed courtesy of $135 a barrel. Friends, the price of oil and the pace of freedom operate in an inverse correlation. Never forget that when you fill up your tank.